All right, hello, good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic because today we're going to be talking about a stock sell that I made today. And that, by the title of this video, you guys know it's TSLY. So, what I did today is I want to go over exactly how many shares of TSLY I sold, why exactly I sold this ETF, and I want to talk about potentially, you know, what I could be doing with all this cash because I've been generating a lot of cash and I've been selling a lot of positions in my CIBC portfolio. It's currently at all time high sitting at $15,430. So what I want to do in this video is I want to go over not only this TSOY sell, but some other recent sells that I have. And I want to show you guys what I'm going to be doing with that cash and ultimately why I got out of TSLY. So if that does sound good, we're up to 6,064 subscribers. You absolutely blew through 6,050 subscribers. So thank you very much to everyone who subscribed. Staying above this 400 subscribers per month. I hope we can get that one day to 500 and then 1,000 in 28 days. But till then, I appreciate all the new people who joined our page. Welcome to the community. So let's talk a little bit about TSLY. I sold. What did I sell for? And I wish I could tell you that I sold for the absolute best price because in the past couple minutes, Tesla was up at a high, then it dropped all the way down. But you can see here, TSLY is now up to $14.18. What did I sell it for? I sold Tesla, really, sorry, TSLY for $14 and about 16, about 17 cents, 14 dollars and 17 cents, we'll say. So I sold about a thousand dollars Canadian, and then the equivalent would be about maybe three fifty four hundred dollars Canadian so I sold about one thousand two hundred fifty dollars of TSOY which is a complete sellout of my position you can see here that in my portfolio I no longer hold any TSOY and what was the reason behind this why did I do this well <clears throat> there's two reasons first I seen Tesla is benefiting extremely from the Trump election and you know what Elon Musk, he was a huge voice for the Trump election, bringing a lot of attention. If if Trump was to have lost, I think Tesla would have honestly gone gone down pretty big if Camilla was to have won. But because Trump won, I think there's a lot of hype around Tesla. Of course, Donald Trump, he's a businessman himself, as I mentioned in the previous video. He knows what businesses need. He looks out for their needs. And so people are very bullish on most businesses and the stock market as seen in recent rallies. But the fact that Elon Musk really voiced his opinion and he was there really puts Tesla on the map and Tesla investors are very excited. And you know, when Tesla investors get excited, things get crazy as Tesla has gone on a bull run in the past three months, 63%. But look at this Tesla's at $13 and 14 cents, $13. $314. This is approaching kind of key levels here at about $310 or so. This is Tesla's current share price. And I actually do think there's a lot of room for Tesla if they blow through this marker to grow. You could see here, there's a marker about $300 where Tesla has resistance. $310 up here is the next resistance at $350, $360. So if Tesla's able to blow through, they could have a huge bull run once again and continue all this momentum. So why did I sell? I sold because it's time to get out of TSOY for myself. TSOY over the past year has not benefited from the huge swings in Tesla. And I don't want to take another big swing to the downside. Tesla has great momentum right now. It's moving very well. The smart thing, what I really could have done as well, is I could have sold off maybe half of my shares, held half, because I do think there's a potential for Tesla to rise once again with all of this momentum. But I took the liberty of selling out of my entire position just because I want to take this cash and I want to move it into my Quest Trade account. That's what I'm doing right now. And if you notice, if you follow my channel over the past little while, you'll notice that back October 2nd, you can see right here, I sold about $2,000 USD in clip and about $1,000 Canadian in clip as well. So we're looking at about $3,500 right there. I collected a bunch of dividends along the way here, just scrolling up. Then I made my next big sell, which was selling out of Zim for a pretty good share price, I must say. Even though Zim is actually trading a little bit higher, it went down after I sold, but now it's actually trading higher than $24. But nonetheless, that's a, another 1300 Canadian dollars or 1400 Canadian dollars, depends what the kind of conversion rate is. And then I generated about another $1,300 from this sell today in 
TSLY. So you could see here, I'm definitely building my cash. I want to take all of this cash and everything from this account, and I want to throw it into my Quest Trade account. This is just kind of a personal thing for me, but I do think that now is not a bad time to look at potentially reducing your TSOY position. What you could do is you could look to sell as you're up. And if Tesla does fall, which Tesla falls very sharply, as you could tell, there's not a single dip here where Tesla has fallen slowly. When Tesla falls, it falls hard and it falls on TSOY. TSOY takes all of the downside of Tesla, but not all of the upside. And it's prevalent today. 4.1% up for TSOY and Tesla itself is up 6%. So if you're going to be taking all the downside of Tesla, it's going to hurt your position. It's very crucial that you evaluate your TSOY position and you look to trim when you believe that Tesla is reaching high markers. And just to mention, they crossed over a trillion dollars. I think that's a huge milestone. That's something that was a milestone way back for Tesla. And uh, personally, I thought it was time just to sell TSLY and move that money. I'm going to be putting it to better use. Now, one thing I do want to talk about is just on Tesla's share price, because of course, our returns in TSLY are correlated directly to the share price of Tesla. Back in 2021, 2022, you could see here, this is their operating cash flow, about $11 billion, about 14, we'll say $15 billion. So they were doing fairly well. And at that time, the share price was trading actually as high as $338 and kind of hovering about the $300 mark. It was this, this time period right here. So for the most part, Tesla was above that time period when people or Tesla's share price was about that price marker when they were earning these operating cash flows. And currently, Tesla's actually doing a pretty fantastic job. They're kind of staying consistent with that. You could see here that the operating cash flow has gone down a little bit in the past little while. So I that's why I kind of I kind of based it off of the fundamentals as well of the company because Tesla is not just a hype stock. It is an actual car company and its revenues will be directly tied to how many cars they sell and how well their business does. So kind of judging off of the fundamentals of the underlying company, how they're doing, I do believe that this is a great time to potentially, I would say, look to reduce shares just because I do believe Tesla's trading at a higher marker and then look to get in at a better price. If you could buy in anywhere, Tesla, about $200 is a fantastic price. Of course, looking back, it's, it's hard to connect the dots looking forward, but it's easier looking back. If you could buy Tesla at great prices instead of trying to buy them at these highs when everyone's getting very bullish, I believe that's the best thing you could do. And that's why I look to sell, sell off on TSLY when Tesla was up. So if you guys enjoyed this video, we're up to 6,064 subscribers, just kind of explaining my sells, my recent sells, and then as well the sell that I did just now in TSLY, which I'll be looking to add to my Crush Trade portfolio. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, you know what to do. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Let's build up our portfolios. Let's do it together. And I'll see you then.